Hi, you guys. I think we should go on a little adventure. So this is the room that you know and love. But let's go outside and see what else there is to see. <gasps> We're in the barn, the magical barn. There is Cheetah's former stall, which is now Black Beauty's stall. Check out the Christmas decorations. All of my friends have come over to help create a beautiful Christmas scene. My friends Mike and Regina bought me a Christmas tree that is actually planted so that we can plant it and have a Christmas tree forever and ever. And now let's say hello to the horsies. <gasps> Starting with Miss Holly. Hi, baby angel. You can see that Holly has the spirit of a deer. Do you see the deer in her? She's very deer-like. Hi, sweet angel face. It is rainy, rainy day, and it has been raining for a little while now. Can we see your velvety nose? It's really cute, honey. Just a little bit. I just want to hide behind you. She's a little camera shy. Not me. <laughs> okay, let's see who else is in. Oh, beautiful Jolene. Oh, now you want attention. Now Holly is jealous. Jolene is a very pretty girl, though. She's a little princess pony. And Mr. Max. Oh, he's so handsome. Hi, Max. Oh, thank you for kisses. Yes, nuzzles. <laughs> Max has hilarious teeth, if you can see them. Yummy. What have you been eating, baby? Mwah. And here is my son. Dance, dance. Can I say hi? Hi, baby. Look at that handsome young man. He thought I was going to have something better, so he's disappointed. But I just have love for you. I hope that's good enough. I love you so much. Dancer is so wonderful and trustable that I can hop on him in outfits like this. And in fact, I have ridden him naked many times through the forest. And he is a perfect gentleman. I only put on a little halter and a lead rope. And you don't even need anything else. He just reads your mind because he's so wonderful. He's one of those older gentlemen. And now this, this is Miss Ember. Hi, beauty. Are you shy, Angel? What's up? She is so gorgeous. A golden palomino paint. Now, when she came, she really couldn't walk at all. And now we've got her front hooves under control. So she was walking totally crossed over in the front, kind of pigeon-toed, like a supermodel. Right, honey? Because you're so beautiful. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, pretty girl. Yes, you are. I know what she needs. She wants an apple from me. And apples, we always have apples. Yes? This is what she wants? Come on, baby. She's a little shy. Don't eat my fingers. Eat my fingers. Eat the apple. Come here. We love apples. Okay. Oh! Scary. <laughs> okay. Anyways, Miss Ember has uh, severely displaced hips. You can kind of see there's something going on back there. So with her back legs, there was nothing I could do shoeing or farrier-wise that was going to fix her gait and help her walk. And our goal, which I'm so excited to share with you, and I may have shared it a few times already, I really want to see her run. On May 1st, we open up the summer pastures and the horses gallop away and it's the most joyful, wonderful experience in the world and they're leaping and running and bucking and rolling and the grass is as high as their chest and they're just so happy. And so I have signed her up for every other week to have a really incredible body worker come and get her hips back in place so that by May 1st, when we release them, she will run for the first time in who knows how many years. Every horse should be able to experience that joy, that freedom of galloping away from the humans as fast as you can and do whatever you want with your life. Right, honey? You want to be free, Angel? We'll help you, baby. So that is Miss Ember. We have a few more people to meet. Horses. Horse people. Horses. It's kind of rainy today. People are going to wonder 
why I'm wearing this. In fact, I have to go back inside because there are people. I'll stick it out with Ember. Sorry, did I frighten you? Hi, Angel. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we'll visit the other horses when I have more clothes on. Oh, dance, dance. We didn't get a good look at you, baby. Hi, honey. This is the magical, special, beautiful boy. He's 32 years young, purebred Arabian. He was going to be put down just because his owner passed away and his family couldn't afford him. And he was a stallion. I did geld him, but he is grateful for it because he has had many horse wives since. And before, when he was a stallion, he couldn't be in with women because obviously he would breed them. And um, now he can be in with all the mares and have lots of fun, and he falls in love all the time. He's a real handsome guy, huh? Love him, baby. Okay, you guys, I'll see you soon.